Are we being socially inappropriate? Stay tuned. Welcome to Stay Focused, Focus Real Estate's weekly video series. And we have a timely discussion today. So one of the things that we've certainly seen happen and what's rising to our attention, and it's been on our, our radar for quite a while, is the language that we're using and is it appropriate, yeah, right? Exactly. And in real estate, it's always been something we have to be careful of because of fair housing laws and just to be socially sensitive. We deal with people of all all different uh, economic backgrounds, races, ethnicities, religions, and, and being also, sensitive to that, and, and, sensitive and disabilities. To disabilities as well, so that's something that we've always been conscious of, especially when we're doing fun things like writing descriptions. Um, of and, properties. Of properties, right. right. So, you know, one of the things that we've always uh, been careful about is walking distance to this or that. That's why we so often use a walk score, and those kinds of languages. Or that views gotta, you know, of the ocean or whatever, because if you, someone's got a disability, that's not a, that doesn't apply to them. Um, but there's other terms in real estate too that you have to be careful. Well, of, certainly, like, and and from the Black Lives Matters, you know, using slave terms such as master, you know, is that the most ingrained word in real estate? Master, master bedroom. bedroom, master closet, master, master bathroom, suites. master suite. Yes. You so know, we've we heard that, we've been using that for decades in real estate. But is that in this day and age, or maybe any day and age, but especially now, should we still be using that term? And we know we should not. So we actually have to be on our MLS boards to have that removed because every listing has, every time we enter Sometimes a listing- Sometimes it's a drop down. And it's a drop down. You don't have a choice. Does it have a master bedroom? Does it have a master bathroom? Yes and no. Um, so those but are- But what do you use instead? Yeah, I, there we go. Everybody tell us what we need to what use instead. What do you think we should use instead of the old term, which is um, racially insensitive, master bedroom? Suggestions. I guess we're looking at things like on suites. We're looking at primary owners. Um, is way bedroom, to describe. Are, owner do we suite. even need to describe it? You let us know. Do you find these terms important when yep. you're searching? And why we're there? What are the terms are we're using that we shouldn't be? Drop some comments in below. We'd love to hear your thoughts or love to read your thoughts, um, or just drop us a line any way you can. So thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, stay, stay tuned, tuned and, and stay focused. focused. That's a given.